or the business. First in seeing the reality of the lives of the mad, cracked people in this menagerie. I'm thinking of squarely accepting my profession as a man. Your boy has always been My broken, Because I'm sick. And that made me sick. It's a trap. <laughs> We're trapped. You're delusional, baby. David, your whole life people have told you you were sick. I'm insane, you idiot. This is my delusion. Why is it blue? Why is it blue? It's always blue. It's always blue. It's not real. Your powers, the things you see, are real. Is this... Is real? How are you real? Your um, signals, that's all. What you see, what you hear. Real, fake, it's all the same. You tell me. The guy's like a god. It's not real. Unless you make it real. You decide what is real and what is not. You. Your will. This is the delusion of the narcissist who believes that they alone are real. Their feelings are the only feelings that matter because other people are just shadows. Nothing that hurts me is real. No one who hates me is real. And shadows don't feel because they're not real. My brother had issues. Your brother has psychic powers. I'm much more powerful than I imagined. And you may be the most powerful mutant alive. He's a god. You and I, we are gods. I know what I am. a baby a baby who's unloved do you believe that i'm a good person that i deserve love just like everybody else no you don't my body is a Take one with you can't make someone love you just because i've tried with you for 30 years since you were a baby i adore you david and that will never change my name at night my beautiful boy the doorway david no my beautiful night my beautiful boy let me be your father realize i am dancing with the one david be a good boy through a keyhole but you spent your whole life trying to widen that keyhole to see more to know more and now on hearing that it can be widened in ways you can't imagine you reject the 
possibility. No, I reject it because I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy or the power of belief. There is no such thing as spirit. We are made of matter and nothing more than just another tiny momentary speck within an indifferent universe. You think too little of yourself. Oh, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. But I see you. Astral form out of your physical form. Pressing that teeth. Psilocybin? LSD? It's just tea. What just happened? For a moment, you entered the astral dimension. What? A place where the soul exists apart from the body. Are you doing this to me? To show you just how much you don't know. lie beyond the reach of your senses. Ah! At the root of existence, mind and matter meet. Thoughts shape reality. Benevolent and life giving. Others filled with malice and anger. Dark places where powers older than time lie forever and wait. Teach me. No. <laughs> 